I'm Rebecca Morgan and I'm a tinsmith. Now it's a lost trade, but it's the precursor to sheet metal and old clay plumbing. I was high school teaching in Maribor, metalwork. Uh, woodwork and graphics. I got a passion for doing the metalwork and I thought I'm going to have a try at this. We uh, used to have a market every Friday night and I thought oh wouldn't that be a great idea to have somebody like a tinsmith or a blacksmith sitting there doing stuff at the market. I started off going from marketplace to marketplace, which the original tinkers used to do, and they'd make something. When they get established, they became a tinsmith. In London, that's where tinsmith started, in a little place called Crooked Lane. And the first tinsmiths used to get tin plate from the London Bridge docks, and they'd go up into Crooked Lane and they'd make different things out of tin plate. Today, there is no grassroots tinsmiths in England, Ireland or Wales. I applied for Churchill Fellowship in early 2017. I sat down and they prodded me with questions. You know, how do you think you're going to promote this lost trade? And I said, well, I'll go to specialised markets where they've got an emphasis on lost trades just to get people to follow the trade, love the trade, love the items again, fall in love with the old-fashioned tinsmith. So he says, oh yeah, that's what the original Churchill Fellowship was, you know, the old trades, keeping them alive. So I got to London. The first place I needed to be was up in Birmingham. Just outside of Birmingham, there's a reconstruction village. They've taken buildings and railway tracks and shops and everything from other parts of England and for two weeks I was a tinsmith in their old tinsmith shop making things talking to customers about the lost trade they taught me how to use tin plate which I had never used very much their soldering is a lot different than our soldering so I picked up a lot of things and I showed them a few things and we sort of combined then I went down to Wales, looking for the home of the last tinsmith in 1968. And that was magic, just seeing the old houses and the style, and it was really old school sort of stuff. But I found the street it was in, and there were all these little block buildings. So I was getting a, a buzz out of just seeing where people lived and, and, and where they made some beautiful, beautiful stuff. I can teach people that with a few tools, after about a four or five day course, you should be able to make basics. This trade is not lost. Yes, I get cuts all over me, I wear gloves every now and then, uh, but generally I like the feel of the tin, how it shapes, how it folds, how it can become elastic. The concept of making something in tin is unbelievable. People are applying for the Churchill Fellowship. Don't be afraid that you're at a lower standard than some of these doctors and architects and medical research people and that. You know, there's firemen, there's mechanics, there's panel beaters, there's tinsmiths, there's plastering. You know, all those people went and did Churchill Fellowship. So don't let that stop you. The experience is wonderful. I learned a lot and I came back with knowledge that, hey, I'm actually doing the right thing here. I'm making stuff that not many people in the world are doing. We're still in the industrial revolution here in my shop where I'm making things by hand and mainly with hammers. So, you know, it's great.